Lucio in Overwatch 2 functions much the same as he did in Overwatch 1 when it comes to speed, engages, speed, disengages, things like that. But as the map opens up, the reason why Lucio has remained relevant is because really, really good Lucios are really, really good at not just sitting still. They're really good at being able to put their bodies elsewhere throughout the map to disable or enable off angles. Okay, we talk about how that's such a crucial part of Overwatch 2. Well, how does Lucio contribute to that? Now, when I initially started with Lucio, doing coaching Lucio, I really struggled with this because it was not always super obvious about how exactly Lucio did that. But well now in Overwatch 2, because there's only one tank, you are going to have more freedom and opportunity for you to be able to go and duel things and pressure things out or to assist your Genji in doing those things. So I look at your comp right now and I look at the enemy comp and the first things that stand out to me is like, who could you theoretically be looking to enable right now? And I'm thinking, obviously, Yuzari. If she wants to go in, you, you can be there with speed. But then I also look at something like your Genji and if you're able to play with Genji when he dives in, then that's going to be a massive boon to him, right? Zarya and Genji, 100%. But then you also have to look at the flip side and who on the enemy team can you really disable? Who can you screw up? Who can you clear out? Who can you pressure and prevent from pressuring your team? And the answer to that one, obviously, for a GM player like you, is Sombra. So your priority when it comes to controlling space is in helping your Zarya Genji and stopping the enemy Sombra. Now, this is where it gets tricky, though. Because then everything in your kit, boop, amp, speed, heal, and even your positioning, all relates down to how you're going to be able to do that job better so then now if we set that guideline that expectation and i look at this right first off you need to respect sojourn one shot even though you weren't the one that died for it it doesn't look good uh, i think of the, that was one consistent thing that we've seen throughout this is that you don't seem to show a lot of respect for sojourns when she have a, they have shot that's something that needs to change but i look at this right here okay this is obviously like what you need to be doing but then my question for you here is why do you amp? You're on top of her. That you have your boop to, to, for the extra damage, really. She's get, she's getting she is in the act of being cleared. So why amp? Right. Remember we talked about every cooldown. I don't think he dies. I think as long as he has cooldowns, he should not die. I mean, you even lamp here. So both you and your bat really screwed this up. Respect the shot, respect the shot, respect the shot. Respect the shot. Now, do you see how this is like, this is what you want to be helping too, if you can cross without getting shot, right? Again, not respecting shot. Amp. And what happens is then because your positioning isn't good, there's your amp. This was a, this is, this, right, exactly. This is a solely selfish amp, which then now if we translate that into what happens now, if you want, if you needed your amp here, you would not have had it or you didn't have it, right? So let's keep going. And by the way, you can use this time to go find that Sombra. You don't need to go isolate yourself, but there's no reason for you in here to not be spy checking, right? Your entire mindset here needs to be spy check, spy check, spy check, mess her up. You could go hunt her down with your Genji now if you wanted to. Okay, this is good. So micro positioning, not so great. It's forcing bad, uh, a bad amp, and then obviously the amp before that wasn't so good either. So positioning hasn't looked as good. Let's keep watching. Correct, Shyrox. Like this amp, check out this amp. Obviously there was no opportunity for you to position poorly here. But look, look at this amp. Really stressful for them. Really stressful. Good beat. Love the beat. And this is this is the this is the Lucio difference right here. Okay? The Lucio difference, people always ask me, how does Lucio contribute to map control? We talked about enabling versus disabling. But if you are quick 
on the draw with reacting to what's going on around you, and number two, you're good at wall climbing and good at movement, then you're gonna have a really, really good time. Check this out. So you should have been in speed here, to be honest with you. But as you close in, having this amp available and then getting there quickly through wall climbing, right? Or wall riding is what saves your surgeon. Yes, get rid of her. Good. Why are we amping? Why are we amping? Do not autopilot here. You're 114, 115 HP behind corner with a mini health back. Stop amping. So amp here, not impactful at all. And then what does that mean now, right? You're, you're blading in. This is when you want amp, right? Amp on the sojourn, amp with your, with your, with your Zarya onto their Zarya. This opportunity is really, really missed here. Okay, so I do appreciate that we're helping the blade. Very important that you're doing that. Your whole mindset. Ah. Yeah, that's just, you just got diffed, to be honest there. Um, that's just a mechanical thing. Just not respecting it as much as you should be. But we're seeing a lot of suspicious amps. Um, and then amps that are being forced from bad positioning, but then also amps that don't really feel forced. Okay. Still questioning the positioning here, right? If you track EMP, even if you track Sojourn Shot, this really isn't the best position for you. They could be playing this corner here. It could be playing up top, right? It could be playing up here. Or it could be playing the corner. There's a lot of options here. Any of them are better than where you are right now. This is rough. Again, they keep comboing ults here. I don't I don't know why they're comboing EMP with grab, but um, because now this is actually winnable. Let's just go back a little bit. So going in aggressive. I don't want to overthink the micro here because it was clear that you guys were trying to play aggressive to clutch or get a trade. And to be honest with you, they did use three ults. So, okay, let's keep going. I need, to, I need as much gameplay as we possibly can. Nice. Easy. Respect the right click, please. I think the amp was reasonable considering what your team wanted to do. You need to push your advantage quickly. Yes, yes, this, this, is, this is it, right? It's, you could be helping with the Zarya, yes. Um, but, but I think it's, when that Sombra is in position, then doing what you're doing right now is probably more impactful, which is making sure that she doesn't get the hack off. Right there, huge. And this is a one fight. Okay. Go chase him. Go chase him. Nice. Definitely not the cleanest mechanics we've seen either. Consider this, Shyrox. Where could you position right now to be the most impactful that you could possibly could be? Think about it. High ground, why? This question is not always easy in Overwatch 2 because Lucio remains a very short range hero. And Lucio remains a hero that benefits from having an aura around him and benefiting his teammates around him. So if you guys, any Lucio players in chat, if you're able to take your VODs and break it down piece by piece and think, what, what, what about here? What if I did that there? You're going to learn a lot from it. Better LOS of the sites, good cover against Sojourn, easy access to all my teams so I can help whoever needs it. Right. So basically, if you're here, you don't do a lot of damage here. And as soon as that Sojourn charges her shot, you don't peek this at all, right? You can't, you can't. You're just gonna get, you're gonna get, you're gonna blown away. But what you do here is you heal this guy. You see? So that she can stay up here a little longer. Now, a Zenyatta Orb would be better. A Mercy Pocket would be better. A Kiriko Pocket would be better. Even a Nana Pocket would be better here. So right now, Lucio is not feeling particularly useful. Lucio is not particularly useful in these poke phases. But what you can do is position with an off angle, 
even if you can't do any damage off of that offing on yourself and just be an aura bot and let them get because right now your team doesn't get a lot out of this your zarya your bap even like uh really just your zarya but your genji as well aren't doing anything right now impactful but she is so if you can help her even just a little bit it's worth it you see even just a little bit if she can get healed up like look if she can get healed up here that's crucial Right, exactly, Shyrox. It can be support your DPS by that, supporting that blade like you did earlier when you actually dove in with the blade. That was really quite good. Or it could be, I can't do anything right now because the fight's not actually breaking out. Hey, Grezen. So I'm going to sit up top here with my Sojourn. And then, okay, we're getting ready to dive. Then I'm going to drop and get ready to speed in with my Genji Zarya. That's what your hero is really good at. Your hero, Lucio, the best way I would describe Lucio is he's never the best hero for every situation but he can be accessible in so many situations he's not the best at diving in necessarily and on an aid or you know a kiriko diving in with a um um uh, 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 uh suzu right probably would be better when it comes to pocketing dps then mercy or zen would be significantly better when it comes to general poke, a bap is better. But you can do all of these things. You can help your sojourn and then speed in with your team and then dive. And do so and survive. You can do so many things at different times. So let's see. You're sitting here. You almost, looks like you almost get shot. Looks like you get shot again. You really need to respect the railgun a little more. Yeah, there you go. And there's the amp. Oh positioning forces amp again i mean look look at this look at this look at this i wonder what would have happened if you'd been here this ends now you could have sat up here and aura'd you could have aura'd you could have heal aura'd these guys look at that and then you could have pressed q and beat in with your genji but unfortunately because you positioned poorly early on that forced you into a bad spot forced a bad amp and now your genji's probably gonna die okay we managed oh, okay we managed to clutch down so some definite issues with your positioning and with what value you can get i'm trying to ask questions and trying to point out little things that you could be doing to provide better value dueling sombra you're definitely thinking about it but you're not doing it well enough enabling the off angles you're definitely thinking about it but you're not doing it well enough and then just general respect versus enemy hit scan threats will allow you to be able to use your amp more aggressively when you actually need it okay so let's keep going um how do you win this matchup shyrox how do you win this matchup exactly fast you don't have to play it fast immediately but you need to avoid damage and then when the opportunity strikes you need to get in on something okay and then what you can do when you're getting on in something, what is your responsibility when you guys go in? What is your responsibility? Can you deal with a pharmacy? No. So then what can you do? Speed amp, okay? And then what? Kill the other support, sure. You could go dive the Sojourn. You could dive the Kiriko. You could boop the Zarya. Right, okay. You're down the Genji, so you guys need to make a decision about what you guys do. You guys could probably go out, honestly, and then re-engage later. That's probably the best play. So they play Echo in defense because it's harder to counterpick, and so because you guys always have the advantage of counterpicking on attack. So if they played Pharmacy, you guys could counterpick. So this is fine. Remember, respect. Now, now here's the thing. Now here's the thing, Shyrox. Look at their comp. They no longer have Sombra. They only have Echo. So. What's the play for you? What 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 is your priority here? What are you thinking? Is there anything for you to quote unquote disable on the enemy team? Truly. I'm not gonna say wait for a full answer. Not not really, right. There's there's not there's no Sombra, there's no tracer to peel, there's nothing that you can really peel off. So then everything goes about not necessarily, not even necessarily Reddit, Lucio, in terms of you're only playing for yourself, but you are playing to get your Zarya in, get your Genji in, get on that Kiriko, get on that Sojourn, pressure that Mercy, something like that. You are looking to play aggressively with somebody else, right? Get value out of your Aura, 
by going in. Like right now, my problem here is yeah, you're getting some chip damage in, but I would rather you assist this duel and look for an opportunity to dive later. Or I would rather you go up with your Genji, flank around behind and look for an opportunity to go backline. If you're playing an OD as well, you're at playing with this team. So you can communicate these plays more often. It is much more valuable for you to be doing this than for you to be sitting inside of your Zarya. Your Zarya doesn't get a lot out of you shooting the enemy Zarya and you giving her 15, 16 HPS. However, she will benefit a lot from you, you helping your Genji actually go aggressive so this Zarya doesn't get healing. That's way more impactful for your team fight. Yeah, so you're only sitting on your Zarya, but the problem is, is though, is in Overwatch 2, sitting in on top of your tank isn't always the play. Even if you were playing with a Reinhardt, you'd be playing with the Reinhardt to enable him to go in aggressively and boop in aggressively. If you're just sitting behind your Reinhardt and shooting, then that's just not a lot of value. Especially, look at your Aura right here. You, it's only three people in your aura right now, right? And that's gonna be the case in Overwatch 2. Your Sojourn gets nothing, your Genji will often get nothing. As the team fights spread out, the number inside your aura isn't as important. It's an, it's who is in your who is getting value out of the aura is what's important. It's not the number, it's not the quantity, it's the quality of your health, right? And right now, it's it sounds weird to say this, but an Ana could have done what you're doing right now better than what you're doing because she you're just healing and shooting. That's all you're doing. An, an Ana bat would have been better. Exactly, exactly. If your Zarya wants to push, get in there with her, you know? But right now, you you look at look, look again. I, I really, I really, really want you to think about this. That again, an Ana would do more than what you're doing right now. Another heal, a Moira would do more than what you're doing right now. And then look at what actually matters is these offing little threats. Remember, Lucio can do this because if you go help these DPS, an Ana can't do this. An Ana can't play here, for example, at least this close, because if that Zarya turns on you, you're probably gonna die. A Lucio doesn't die. Lucio goes here. Shoots, shoots, shoots. You're still getting your spam. You still got three in your Aura because you've got you, your Sojourn, and your Genji. But then your Genji doesn't have to leave. Your Sojourn doesn't die to random crap. And again, you're going to win this fight based off of what they do. In, right? You see this? So you're simultaneously playing like a flanker more yourself, but also helping those flankers. Right now, there's obviously like if you're playing on Circuit Royale and you're playing sniper battles, Lucio is not going to be the best pick because it's going to be a lot harder for you to look for those aggressive dives. And then if you're playing sniper versus sniper, then you're not really your snipers don't really dive, so the hero doesn't feel good there. But right now, you do have heroes that you could be quote unquote diving with or playing aggressively with, and you're missing those opportunities. Okay.